What's up everyone and welcome back to our free actions. My name is Wolfie and uh, I'm a bit of a mess after reading this book. Today we're going to be looking at IDW's Sonic the Hedgehog comic series, issue number 22. Let's go. So if you're new to this, this is how it normally goes. I talk about the story, I tell you things I like, things I didn't like, and then I give it a score. But first, I have to read it back to you in an overly dramatic fashion. Let's begin. So our story once again opens up with a map drawn by Cream. And as you can see, this takes place around the same time as the last issue. So nothing has really changed yet. Restoration HQ. Ooh boy, let's see where we are. Sonic's running around getting data for Tails. He should be near Barricade Town by now, I think. Tails is doing his research in Central City while Tangle and Whisper cover support and evacuation. Silver is handling the evacuation in Ice Paradise on his own. Looks like Vector and Espio just got back with the refugees from Pine Grove Village. <sighs> Rouge is still missing in action. Hmm. And I'm talking to myself way too much. Break time, Mrs. Rose. Yes, please. What do I get? Five minutes? Weeks? Years? How do you do it, Cream? It's Mother's recipe, and she learned it from our mother. I'd be happy to teach it to you. I mean, stay this upbeat and sunny. It isn't easy. I still can't sleep very well. I dream of cheese and chocolate and what happened. But I know Mother's afraid too. I see everyone hiding here is just as scared. And that spreads just like the metal virus. So I'm gonna be as brave as Cheese was. I'm gonna put on the biggest smile I can and share it with everyone. And I can do that because of you. You're a hero. And an adventurer. And you never give up. You and Mr. Sonic and all of our friends will find a way to save us. So why be sad when I know things will be okay in the end? You're my hero too, Cream. Thank you so much. Now then, how do you take your tea? Right now? Plane's fine. I just need something to keep me up. Tails to Restoration HQ. Do you copy? I'm checking in. I'm here, Tails. How's the cure coming? Meanwhile, on Lost Hex. We've been granted a golden opportunity. Eggman's newest patsy has invited us into his base. He expects us to fix the crisis on the world below. We will accept his hospitality and then punish him for it. Unless you know this is another trap. I'd rather not be Eggman's slave again, Kay? Thanks. You dare? We underestimated the doctor the first time. This time, we are prepared. We will punish him for our humiliation. We will destroy Sonic for defeating us, and we will grind the world to dust in retribution. Thank you for the refreshments. I'd love to relax with you, but I should get back to work. Me too. As Cream checks in with the rescued bystanders, she's noticing the area is getting much more packed. Quit shoving! Froggy, where are you? And that right there is your big cameo. Hope you enjoyed that. Is this all the space they have? We don't have enough room for everyone. I said back off, Mac! Unit's designation is not Mac. It is Gmeral. I don't care if it were king of everything. You ain't throwing Charmy out. You have brought in the Zombot. He is a pathogenic threat to Cream. He must be removed. He got infected by being a hero. I didn't carry this containment bubble everywhere and track him down just for you to throw him out. The Chaotics don't abandon their own. I'll look after him. I'll have an easier time without you breathing down my neck. This unit does not breathe. You know what I mean. General, it's okay. Negative. Charmy B is a threat to your health. We talked about this, remember? Affirmative. Charmy B is a victim, but... Mr. Vector and Mr. Espio will take good care of him. They won't let anyone get sick from him. I understand your concern, but Vector has a solid plan. We'll securely store Charmy in Tails' lab alongside Omega. Once Tails has found the cure, Charmy will be immediately accessible. That sounds like a wonderful plan. It is... acceptable? Don't be discouraged. You'll learn to think like us one day. Illogically and self-destructively? Uh, no. Sheesh, not much room to move, huh? Is this inch taken? It is... It's fine. I've been here for a while. You? Just got in from Pine Grove Village. Never been. It, it was nice. I'm sure it was. I'm from Glass Hill. Eggman didn't come anywhere near us. It was all the Zombots from other places that just wandered into town and... Hey, are, are you okay? I'm sorry. I just didn't want to be alone. Zombot! It's a Zombot! 
Everyone stay calm. Don't go up. Look out, Cree. No, Charmy. Let me through. It's gotta... And if things couldn't get any worse, Charmy breaks free. We now have a flying Zombot in the midst of the chaos. All pilots to your shuttles. Prep for immediate takeoff. Restoration HQ has been compromised. I'm initiating a full evac. As if on cue, Gemeral is slammed into the door by the previously infected bystander. But Amy leaps into action, smashing the Zombot with her hammer. How bad is it? 10% infection and growing exponentially. I cannot contain active Zombots. Grab Omega and get to the launch base. Scan everyone who tries to get in. Negative. I must protect Cream. I lost her when I was attacked. I must. You're the fastest one here and we'll need Tails to rebuild Omega later to protect everyone. Get Omega, get to the shuttles, I'll find Cream and bring her to you. Ordings acknowledged. And as Gemeral takes off, we can see down below, the infection is spreading and every single bystander who was rescued earlier is now getting infected. This is horrible. As Amy looks down into the huge group of Zombots, she spots who she's looking for and immediately goes in. Cream, we've got to go! M m mother Miss Rose, please! Get my little girl to safety. With tear-filled eyes, Amy has to make the hard decision, leaving Vanilla behind to be infected as she hammer jumps and scoops Cream up to take her to safety. Thank you. No, mother, no! No, go back, go back! General. Mission objectives complete. Scanning. You are both free of infection. Go back, please. Where are the other pilots? Only one made it through. Not that many of the refugees made it either. Go find your seat. I'll be with you in just a second, okay? With a gentle hand, SBO guides Cream off to safety. And as we see Cream's expression, we can tell that she is definitely broken on the inside about this. This is so sad and depressing. Our scene shifts to Vector in general, who can be seen scanning the crowd to see if there's any uninfected left. Scan complete. Everyone within is infected to some degree. Alright, let's close it up before... And then the worst thing that could happen happens. The infected Charmy flies inside, but before he can make it deeper in, Vector tackles him. Thus getting himself infected in the process. Oh no you don't! I swear kid, you're such a pain in my tail! Vector! Vector is compromised. Immediate quarantine required. Yeah, 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 I guess this is what I get for looking after my own. I'll beat him back. Close up the door behind me. Hey, Espio, you're a lead detective now. Our heroes are left to stare in silence, as they have not only lost Vanilla, but Vector as well. Vector is very strong. As a Zombot, he will break down the door soon. You're right. We need to go. Espio, come on, we've got to escape. R roger that. Even Espio, who is normally the very stoic one, can still be seen trying not to shed tears. He's in complete shock. And with that, our heroes, or what's left of them, manage to escape on the one shuttle pod. Soon, Central City Bay. Come on, people, our ride is here. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Tails, we're airborne. Come on, man. And this is where our last comic left off. Wait, where are the other shuttles? We didn't have many, but... We're on the only one that made it out. What are you saying? Restoration HQ has fallen, and almost everyone with it. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Even if the upload wasn't complete, I could have still done something in my lab there. You mean the data for the cure? It's... gone! The Zombots trashed everything. Our only hope now is that Sonic gets back of his data analyzer intact. And just when things look like they couldn't get any bleaker, Tangle receives a call from a very familiar voice. Jewel? Yeah, I can hear. Slow down, what's happening? Next time, the same day, a different adventure. And that was issue number 22, um, yeah, I don't know if it needs to be said, but yeah, every single issue I say it can't get any darker, but it's like the writers are like, oh, you poor sweet summer child, it can totally get darker. Yeah, we have lost a whole bunch, and I thought something at Restoration HQ was going to go wrong, I mean, we already knew it was going to happen based on uh, what we knew from the last issue, but I thought it, I honestly didn't think it was going to be... A bystander that caused it and oh my god is that not the most real thing ever for a bystander to be the cause of everything going downhill quick right 
Of course there's going to be some selfish person in the midst of all this crisis when this infection thing is spreading and they're like, I don't want to do this by myself. I don't want to be alone. They'll hide the infection or something like that. It's something that happened on The Walking Dead. It happens on all the zombie survival type things where something spreads and someone's infected, but they're like so selfishly thinking about themselves that they're like, I'm going to hide my infection. Maybe I'll get better. I can fight it off, blah, blah, blah. And then they wind up succumbing to the effects and wind up just screwing everything up because you're in the heart of Restoration HQ. By being there... As infected, whether you're fighting it off or not, you are extremely dangerous, and you are basically being the most selfish person in the world. I don't care what this character's motivation was, that's extremely selfish. You go, and you get infected, and you go off on your own, and be like everybody else, and get infected. Don't bring your infected self into a huge mass group of people who think they're safe, and then selfishly say, I didn't want to be alone. <sighs> Maybe that character was a kid. Maybe I'm thinking, like, too harsh on this. But, man, it's like, you idiots. And it's like, if not for you, everything would relatively... It'd be bad. But it, this went from bad to worse, all because of somebody's decision to... I'm gonna go in there and, you know... Anyway, it's like, that's so frustrating. But it's so real, too. They're all, there's always someone, someone, who's gonna do something like that because... I don't know. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna give benefit of the doubt and say that character was like a kid or something like that. You know, younger, younger-ish. So it's like, okay, maybe I could excuse that because you know it's they're, they're just it's a child being scared. Sure, I can see that. Um, but yeah, it's like, damn it, so close. Oh, that kills me. So as a result of this one character's selfish, selfish actions. Uh, everything went downhill. And what went worse was Vector and Espio actually managed to find the little buddy and bring him back. And while at first I was thinking, oh no, Charmy is, is going to escape from that thing and that's going to be the cause of the infection. So Vector is going to be responsible for this. But no, it wasn't truly that. It was everything else that got chaotic and then Vector accidentally wound up like releasing Charmy and then that made things worse. So yeah, this... This whole event, just catastrophic. And there's a, how many more books left in this arc? How are they going to save this? Okay, I have a prediction though. Um, before I get into that, I think this may be the best chance that the writers have to bring Zavik and the Zeti to the spotlight as the main villains. I'm thinking this is going to shift from Zombots to the reign of the Zetis. If the Zetis can control the Zombots, they are now the most powerful villains in this comic book, right? Think about it. We could have a full-on Thanos moment with Zavik sitting in his throne while all the Zombots surround him and he's sitting there being all smug and he's like, you know, everything has gone down, everybody's been infected, Sonic is now forced to beg in front of Zavik like, you know, please help my friends and he's like, ho oh, ho ho, ah yes Sonic, you are now here begging before me, now I, Zavik, will gloat before you. I am king of this world now. I control the planet, me and my Zeti. I'm just thinking, like, in the, you know, I'm thinking in a grand fit sense, and I know it's kind of, oh, that's so edgy, grimdark, but I, I like the idea of Zavik and the Zeti finally gaining, like, think of how much of a threat those guys could be if they managed to not only take control of the Zombots, but also keep control of the infection everything, making Eggman practically practically useless now, right? There's so many factors going into this right now. Rouge is missing in action. We don't know what she's up to. As far as we know, she could be also going out and getting intel on how to stop this virus. Or maybe she went to Knuckles. Not like that, guys. Get your mind out together. Went to Knuckles to, like, maybe inform of what's going on and maybe get him his help or something like that. Maybe she's desperate. Uh, we know she's definitely doing something to probably track down Shadow because, yeah, she's mad at him, but still. Um, things to take away from this book. Emerald said his mission was successful, so he managed to get Omega. As far as we know, he managed to get Omega out of there. We don't see him carrying Omega, but I'm, I'm thinking he maybe got the chip of Omega or something like that, so Tails is going to have to build Omega a new body. Omega and Gemeral are our best hopes right now, besides Sonic, but he's infected and he's still running his stuff off. Um... Let's see what else. Um, yeah, Espio is the lone survivor of the Chaotix now. And Vanilla got it too. What are the chances that Vanilla and Vector wind up going out 
together. Not like that, but you know what I mean. Getting taken out in the same book, right? Coincidence? Maybe. Maybe. Um, Vector and Vanilla, if you don't know, are they were teased to have been like kind of a thing since those two are like the only like like in their 30s adults or like late 20s early 30s those two are like confirmed adults vector is supposed to have a thing for vanilla i don't know if it's ever platonically or if i don't know if it's ever returned if those feelings are mutual or if it's just one-sided but that's the thing with vector and vanilla but still to see cream got to see her mom got get zombotted that's horrible she's like freaking six or eight years old man it's i think she's six that's terrible this is getting horrible it's and it's like it's it's not gonna get any better the cure got lost last issue and the current the current survivors we have let's count them off silver is off doing his own thing blaze as far as we know is off doing her own thing uh, Knuckles is out there on Angel Island. Rouge is still out there. Tangle Whisper are still here. Tails, Amy, still here. Gemeral, still there. Omega is busted. He is... Can't do anything right now. Sonic is infected. Can't really do anything right now. Um, are those our main cast right now? I'm trying to think. Is there anybody else I may have missed? Hmm. Oh, Big. Big the cat was on that ship. He's probably infected now. The fact that Froggy, where are you, is a line of dialogue in that ship, he's packed in there with them, and I'm pretty sure he got infected in the midst of that. We don't see Big in that crowd on the on the last Survivor ship, but yeah. Damn! I would have loved to have seen Big. For once, I need, I, I need something. Some levity or something. There has to be hope soon. There is hope with the Zeti, but we can already see they have their own sinister plans in mind. What does that mean for the rest of our crew? I don't know. I, I'm still predicting that Zavik is going to be like the main big villain for the next arc. We had Metal Sonic at first. Now we have Eggman returning with his big Zombot virus. And I'm pretty sure Zavik is going to be the next big villain into play. And Starline's going to have to do something about that too. Because if Eggman finds out that Starline went behind his back to get the Zeddy. And I'm assuming Starline doesn't know the history behind what happened with Zeddy and Eggman. He knows about the Zeddy, but he, does he know what happened with him and Eggman? Because... If he does, Eggman's not going to be happy about that. He's going to be like, you did what? Oh, that's going to be sick. Oh, this is great. But the next issue, it looks like we're going to be leading into uh, uh, Tangle's village. Um, yeah, Jewel's, J Jewel's still there. And if the infection is spread all the way over there, we got issues. Um, also, another thing to take note of, the Babylon rogues are in this world somewhere. Somewhere. Because we saw them in Tangle and Whisper issue number zero, or was it number one? No, it was it was the annual, I believe, is when they showed up. I wonder what they're up to. I mean, they're not really world-saving types, really. That's not their deal. They're, their deal is to show up, steal things, be thieves, and, you know, occasionally be competition to Sonic in the grand uh, free... Not free riding. Um, extreme gear competition. We're, we are overdue for another Sonic Riders game. And not another free riders. I want a traditional one, thank you. Um, I'm sorry I'm rambling. Let me get back on topic here. What else happened in this book? There's a lot of, a lot of stuff happened in this book. Um, while also like it's a flashback, but it actually informs us, us to what happened. Uh, Amy fans are probably gonna be very happy with this one because Amy got a lot of play in this one. She's the new HQ leader ever since Knuckles left. I think she's able to handle herself. I will say. This is the most likable I've liked Amy in a long time. I feel legit bad for her. She's got so much on her plate, and she's, for once, I feel like she's actually a mature character now. She's not obsessing over Sonic now, and I think that might be because of the story itself, the direction they're going, because she can't obsess over Sonic right now. Crap is, it, it's, there's too much stuff going on right now for that to happen. So she's actually allowed to be a character now. And I know a lot of people are like ain't huge Amy fans. There's the majority of my fan base is Amy fans, and I don't like her, but I will say I like when she's actually able to be a character. And by be a character, I mean not obsessing over Sonic and having something to do that isn't ch just chasing Sonic because that gets monotonous quick. Um, it's implied in this book that Zavik may be a little bit abusive towards his deadly six. Like, he made a, like, a violent motion at one, at one of them. Everybody else is like, ooh, like, don't hit us, please. Um, 
which is interesting. I kind of, I, as anything is more interesting than what we got from Zavik and Lost World. Team Sonic Racing, he was okay there. I, I, he was more comedically written, but still better than anything we got in Lost World. Lo Lost World made the Zeddy so one-dimensional that people legit don't like the Lost, the sorry, Lost Six, the Deadly Six because of how dull they are. And for a lot of people, the Deadly Six remind them constantly. They're constant reminders of like Lost World, which was a eh, game. Well, I guess an air eh game is force is more like a bleh game, right? Like these one-dimensional characters keep showing up, but if you're gonna make them show up, give them character, give them something to do, right? Um, I'm excited to see where they go with this. There's a lot in play right now that I think we're gonna have fun with. Um, is there anything else? Poor Cream, man. Like Cream is just she's broken. Svo had to watch both Charming and Vector get it, and it's like. You know this is just, this is gonna, this is tearing everybody up. If this gets any bleaker, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to tap out. I'm kidding. I could still do this, but yeah, seeing Vector just like give one last salute to, to his boy Espio while holding Charmy and infected Charmy is just like, this is, it's not great. Um, I really hope Omega gets a new body soon. I mean, Omega is... He's not helpful in a way that you want him to be, but he's helpful in his own chaotic, good kind of way. Like, he's so obsessed with destroying that he doesn't take care of himself. Where General is more on the lines of, I'm protecting one person. So he's kind of hard-headed in that way. They're both doing good, but in their own way. We need somebody who's able to do both. Protect people and also think about the long term and not getting themselves destroyed in the process. That's where General and Omega are on different sides of the, of the uh, robotic spectrum. One will accomplish the mission no matter what, and the other one will just do whatever it wants because I'm going to destroy all Eggman robots. Um, I believe I have covered everything in this book thus far. Um, yeah, just... Oh, man, I'm so... I'm just like... Good job, girl. You, you, your, your stupidity and your willingness not to be alone caused the destruction of Restoration HQ. We're done here. Um, that's gonna be it. Let me tell you what I liked, what I didn't like, and I'll give it a score now. Um, things I liked. I liked all the character designs we got to see in Restoration HQ. Restoration HQ. Oh, a whole bunch of characters. Someone's got to draw all these characters, these nameless characters, because uh, I mean. When you're when you're putting all these characters into a background, you still gotta make these character designs and stuff like that. Though they may just be one-offs that never get used again, it's still like, that artist had to put in some work. So, big props to the artist on this one for making tons of background characters, which I'm sure a majority of them are cameos and easter eggs that I probably missed. There's probably like, oh, this is a character from one of the artists, you know, one of the original characters, or this is a character from someone else. They seem to do that a lot in these books. Um, anything else? Um, I think I, uh, one thing I did like was the subversion of expectation. I mean, based on the cover of this book alone, where you can kind of see it, you probably see it over over yonder, one of these big comic book covers I put over there. Uh, the one uh, cover, what is this, cover B. You could probably tell based on the cover that, yeah, someone was, I thought this was going to be like some sort of like double agent or something like that from Eggman, a plant or something like that. But no, it was just someone who was infected the whole time. Yeah, that's a subversion of my expectation. I thought Shadow was going to come back to Restoration HQ, Restoration HQ and F everything up. Nope. It was just somebody from the inside. Good job. Um, I can't think of anything I really didn't like. Because, honestly, even though I would have preferred another th this book to, you know, push the story forward again, you know, to see what happens from here on in, because I'm curious... I'm, I'm thankful for the flashback. I, I kind of wanted to know what went down and why certain characters are missing in the next book. Obviously, this is going to need to be touched upon. So that's that. And I think I will give this book a very, very dark 8.9 out of 10. Good job, writers and artists and everybody who put time and effort into this book. Well done. You have successfully made, like... I know a lot of people always talk about, oh, Sonic this and Sonic that. It's just a lighthearted, stupid story for babies. And it's like, 
People tend to forget that there are many, many Sonic medias. Many Sonic medias. Not just game stories where things can get silly, especially as of late after anything post-colors, but like, the Sonic story is capable of telling really... That's one thing I love about Sonic, it's just... The universe is so expansive, there's so many characters, so many different places in this world, so many potential stories to be explored, and this is why Sonic Forces for me was so disappointing is that this huge potential story, so great was the idea of Eggman taking over the world and so and you having to team up with Sonic to fight back. That is such a perfect Sonic story. Then Forces just blew it because they, they just a number of things went wrong with that game and it's like that made me so mad because it's like it's one thing to be a bad story like Sonic Lost World, but it's another thing to be a potentially good story. Wasted potential is so much worse because it's like this could have been great if we had some decent writers on this because, as you can see by this book, by these current comic books, when you have a decent writer telling a decent story, you can sell anything. I like this story. This is darker than Sonic Forces and better told, too. Granted, this is a medium that's better for storytelling than the games are, but still, that hasn't stopped the games from telling a good story. Sonic Adventure 1 had a complete story. Sonic Adventure 2 had a complete story. Arguably one of the best modern Sonic stories. Unleashed was a decent story. It's like... When are we going to go back to having somewhat decent game stories again? The comic books are great just for just like, man, just telling good stories. But yeah, I'm going to need a lot more from the game writing side. I've said this like every comic review, haven't I? Sorry to re-say the same thing over and over again, but it's true. It's just so disappointing to see all this wasted potential and just watching like this stuff play out. It's like, why can't we have a game like this? Anyway, yeah, that's going to be it for me today, guys. Let me know what you guys thought of this book. Hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and ring the bell so you're notified to when the next videos come up on this channel. Uh, what did you guys think? Like, do you think things are going to get worse? If you have read ahead and you know what's going to happen, please don't spoil it for me or anybody else in the comments. Uh, like, I, I like to read the comments to kind of like engage with you guys, but I'm always scared of reading the comments section for the comics because somebody's always like, oh, Wolfie and issue number 24, blah, 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 happens. It's like, stop, don't do that. Why you do that? Stop, I wanna read the book myself. Don't tell me what happens two issues later. You're gonna ruin it for everybody. Mostly me, because it's like, I like reading the books as they come out. I like going to my local comic book store, buying this after work, writing home, reading the book like this, and then coming on and doing my little videos like this, where I can actually have excitement for it. When you tell me what happens in the book way ahead of time, it takes that away from me and just kind of ruins my enthusiasm for it. That being said, you guys have been very good with that. It's just a select number of you guys out there. I don't like what you do there. Stop it. Anyway, that's going to be it for me today, guys. Let's go ahead and let me think. Is there anything else? Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, that, sorry, I had to think for a second. Anyway, guys, I'll see you all in the next video. In the next video, hopefully, if this all comes out in order and the editing doesn't get screwed up, the next issue is going to be this. Tangle and Whisper. Oh, let me get a close-up there. There's our girls there. There they are. Look at them. I love Tangle and Whisper. Tangle and Whisper, issue number three. Review coming soon. Stay tuned, everybody. I mean, I mean, sorry. Stay tuned. This video is sponsored and paid for by my two patrons, Hedge and Green. Thank you guys so very much for the support. If you guys would also like to show support for the channel, you can visit my Patreon at patreon.com slash werewolfwolfy. Any amount you pledge is very much appreciated. Thanks for the support as always, guys. A link should be in the description below, or it should pop up on the video. Goodbye for now.